What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and I'm actually happy because someone made a debunk, a debunk video, so now I actually have something to talk about. Yay! Because I usually have never have anything to talk about during these commentaries. And I won't say who did the debunk video uh, in kit because I don't want anyone to go and blindly attack him. I want them to actually listen to his argument because it was a good attempt, but I'm still not convinced. Like, I, my mind can be changed easily when it comes to these. Like, I'm a bit stubborn at first. But once you provide, like, logical evidence, I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, like, Saitama versus Goku, that was garbage. I acknowledge that as garbage several times now. <laughs> I, it wasn't really bias or anything, it was just a poor understanding of Saitama's character and how he worked. Like, I was like, Saitama got punched to the moon at light speed, and Goku got punched to the ground at not light speed, and Goku got hurt and Saitama didn't. Saitama's stronger, nah. And, you know, stuff like that. But now I acknowledge that as garbage. And same with Mario vs. Sonic. I mean, I still think Mario would win, but I do completely agree that the episode was garbage and I explained it poorly. Now, Scout vs. Tracer. This wasn't exactly like the Mario vs. Sonic or Saitama vs. Goku arguments that I've gotten. It's... I don't know. It doesn't really seem like a, a bunk. Like, there is one part where he tries to disprove something I say, and then the rest is mostly, like, Oh, but Tracer can do this, mate! Tracer can do this, right? Come on, dude. So, let's let's start with the part he tried to debunk at first. It, okay, so in the fight, I separated game mechanics from weapon functions. The re And people are like, what? Or mainly him. But he's like, what? But they're the same thing, right? Not really. Because game mechanics apply to the game only and can easily contradict with stuff that happens in the canon. <laughs> like, um, let's say for example, uh, let me, Soda Popper. I think, I, I can't remember if it's the Soda Popper or the same man or something, but one of, one of the weapons in the setup I use for TF2, I use the Soda Popper flying guillotine in the same man, but one of the weapons in the setup I use, uh, takes away some of Scout's health. Now, I would have included that if I was including game mechanics, but I'm only including weapon functions, and one of the functions of the weapons is to give Scout additional jumps. Now, you may be thinking I'm, like, not being fair by not giving Scout the disadvantage of that weapon, but the reason I didn't is because it contradicts with his cannon durability. Like, he tanks soldier rockets. He survived almost being murdered by Saxton Hale. And taking away part of his health would, like, contradict the cannon. Yet there's nothing to contradict the extra jumps the Soda Popper would give him because we don't see him use the Soda Popper yet in canon. He mostly sticks to his stock weapons in canon. And another thing is, like, Scout can only carry three weapons at a time. The fact that you included all this stuff is bogus. Tracer would have won otherwise. No, she wouldn't. There are several Scout combinations that you can use that would have destroyed Tracer. Like the Soda Popper, Bonk, Cola, and then the Atomizer. He'd have so many extra jumps to avoid and then catch up to Tracer. And the Bonk Cola would obviously make him invincible and stuff. And let's see, another one. The Scatter Gun, plus the Flying Guillotine and Sandman. He'd have a powerful enough weapon. And then the Sandman and the Flying Guillotine would obviously stun and kill her. There's just several different combinations you can do with Scout that would give him the win, even if you limited him to only three weapons. Alright, so that's pretty much all he tried to debunk. All he tried to debunk was, like, my separation of game mechanics versus weapon functions, and the fact that I gave Scout more weapons than he can hold. <laughs> because, like I said before, weapon uh, functions and game mechanics are different. Like, Spider-Man's web. Like, you look at Spider-Man's web in canon. He can only swing on buildings and stuff. It's not like his web goes into the sky and just hangs there and he can swing on nothing. But yet, in the game... He swings on nothing. Like, if you go, if you play Spider-Man games, you can see he swings on nothing. His web goes straight up into the sky. That is a game mechanic that allows you to swing everywhere. Even though we all know uh, Spider-Man's weapon function is to allow him to swing off of buildings. He can't swing off of nowhere. <laughs> so I think you get the point now, the difference between weapon functions and gameplay mechanics. Alright. So now on to Tracer, what he said about her. His first thing, he tried to prove her strength with, in the fight with Widowmaker. But the thing is, Tracer never heavily damages Widowmaker, like, at all. She fights on par with Widowmaker, but nothing is, like, super duper mega heavy damage. At all. 
So that's more of a skill feat than a strength feat. And one thing about being able to damage Widowmaker at all is they is that she should probably scale to the Doomfist gaunt Gauntlet, even though there's no actual evidence that it is Skyscraper level. The only time we ever hear it is from some kid, like, exaggerating or something, like, It, it said it was rumored? Rumored? To let to be able to level sky I don't know if form rumored's the exact word he used, but he used like said. It was said to be able to level a skyscraper. It was rumored, you know the same word. It's I don't know. There's not like an official database on the like, Doomfist Gauntlet that says officially that it can level a skyscraper or something. So it's like completely unknown, like how the Doomfist Gauntlet works. And next, the pulse bomb, the pulse bomb, the pulse bomb. So. Alright, so you get Tracer's strength. It's not as much as he said it was. I mean, I buffed Tracer by giving her the Doomfist Gauntlet feat, but it still wasn't enough to beat Scout considering his durability. Now what about Tracer's durability? The Pulse Bomb, right here, you can see on the screen that she tanks. She tanks like the shockwaves and backlash of the explosion. She doesn't take she doesn't take a direct hit from it. She throws it, Widowmaker shoots it out of the sky, the flames and shockwaves push her back off the building. It's like an action movie when you see like the action star running away from the explosion and then the shockwave like pushes them forward and then they fall on the ground. And they're they're a bit scratched up, but they mostly survived the explosion. That's what it was like here. Like she narrowly escaped it, she was blown off, a little scratched up, but she still survived it. Now if she had taken a direct hit from that thing, Tracer would have died. I'm telling you right now, like that device on her chest, it would have been shattered. Oh yeah, that's another thing he forgot to mention. He forgot to bring up the device on her chest. The device on her tre chest, like, I brought up how Scout could easily shoot that, because his weapons are strong enough to destroy robots, so one good shot to the device on Tracer's chest would easily destroy it, and he completely, like, left that out. Even though that's, that's a way for Scout to one-shot Tracer right there, that, oh, that's a way right there for Scout to one-shot Tracer. And he left it out. I don't know why, did he just forget about it, but he did. <clears throat> Let's see what's another thing you mentioned. I think that's about it. Like he mentioned, he tried to say Tracer was stronger than Widowmaker, even though there's no proof because the only time Tracer's ever come, Tracer's never actually been seen beating Widowmaker. She chases her out of a building, thanks to Winston and some kid, and then she loses to Widowmaker in the alive short like she was kicked against the wall and like took a several story fall and that's still not a more impressive durability feat than scout because he took three soldier rockets and was launched across the battlefield into medic's office it was crazy so scout's durability is still higher his his speed is still fat i don't know why he didn't try and debunk scout's speed at all i mean and Scout's stronger because there still are the Man vs. Machine upgrades. He didn't bring that up either. Like, there's still the Man vs. Machine upgrades, which makes this an even bigger stomp in Scout's favor. So, there's really no way for Tracer to win this, unless... Unless... No, there isn't. I can't think of a way. I'm trying to go, unless... Unless Tracer... But I really, really can't think of a way. The only way- alright, I thought of a way. The only way Tracer could win is if we gave all her, uh, like, her blink abilities and recall ability, if we made them unlimited. But as we know for a fact, they're not, because, as we can see from the cinematic trailer, she needs to recharge, and she doesn't use it, like, constantly in her, um, in the Alive short. She uses it a bunch up the staircase, but she does allow some time for cooldown in between the staircase scene and all that. So, it's not like- it's not like it doesn't charge when she uses it three times in a row. It can recharge, even when she doesn't use all her blink, her blinks that she has. So there's plenty of cooldown time for it, so... The only way Tracer could win is if we gave her unlimited blink and recall, which would be, like, a huge, gigantic buff for Tracer. And that would make it unfair, but even then, I'm not, like, completely certain, because I figured Scout would catch on immediately. Well, not immediately, but he would catch on eventually before Tracer could do much damage. Because let's not forget that Tracer's weapons are also, like, laser and plasma based. Which Scout also has. Scout also has a laser and plasma based weapon that he got from the Invasion update. And Scout can avoid these weapons. And Scout can take hits from these weapons easily. Like the Soldier's Cow Mangler also. 
And there's also these uh, secondary weapons that shoot lasers too. So, scout lasers and that bombs, explosions, all that kind of stuff, anything Tracer can do, Scout is used to, besides the blinking and the recall, but he could easily get used to that, and plus Tracer needs cooldown and all that. So again, there's no way for Tracer to win in this scenario. I mean, I appreciate the debunk because I now had something to talk about, and I'm very happy because I usually have nothing to talk about during these commentaries, but I don't think the debunk worked. Thanks for trying, and I'm glad you could share your own opinion. But, in my opinion, Tracer winning is simply not the most likely outcome. Like, in the disclaimer of this video, we state that fictional fights is not factual. It is, I do not declare the results of any of these fights as 100% fact. I just figure they're the most likely of all outcomes in my research, so I include the most likely one. And this is what I got. Scout wins in most circumstances. See ya.